Hey, what's up everyone? Mario Carson here, and today we're gonna to be talking about a commitment to being the best, and we're gonna start the video right now. This is the newest edition of the Performance Lab. Reach your individual goals. You don't wanna just talk about straight line speed. We also wanna talk about your ability to be quick. We break down your video. Let's make you into the quarterback I know you can become. All right, so I really hope these videos are helping somebody out there. I'm really doing it. I really enjoy talking about this stuff. I've seen the development that I've been able to make on a personal level by really being able to you know, commit to certain things and, and fill my mind with information that is going to pull me towards a greater full, uh, future instead of focusing on things that you know are only going to you know make myself worse, right? Putting myself down and things like that. So what we're gonna talk about today is gonna be really how do we fulfill that commitment of being the best version of, of ourselves we can be and and really the first thing that i would say when, when it comes to that is you know prioritizing right when it comes to priorities you know you really only have one priority so you know i think this is a great time to go over this i'm, I'm doing the 60 yard uh, program where you could throw 60 yards in 12 weeks we're gonna put a little link here and then we're also about to launch a you know 40 yard program we're really committing to being able to help speed helping your throw you know even going with a jump program as well so you know i'm doing a lot of different things here to be able to try to help out in terms of the athletic development side, but I really think there's a lot that goes into the mental side as well. So we have to be great from a physical side, from a spiritual side, as well as from a mental side when it comes to overall athletic development. So, you know, where are you in those areas and, you know, where, how can you, what can you do to be the best version of those with, for yourself? right? We're all going to be different. We're all going to have different versions of, you know, the best. But what we want to try to do is we want to push to be the version of ourselves that we're trying to achieve, right? We don't want to be, you know, looking at ourselves in the mirror and be upset with what we see or upset with the decision that we make. We really want to be, you know, happy with what we see in the mirror when we go and look at ourselves and happy with the days and happy with the weeks and happy with our overall progress as we're going through life. And so a big part of that is really being able to set clear priorities are, and really one clear priority in terms of what you're trying to do, whether it's run faster, throw the ball further, get a division one scholarship, go to the NFL, you know, run in the Olympics, whatever the case may be, prioritize that, right? And once you have those priorities set up, now you got to be able to set boundaries. So what can't you do, right? In order for you to be able to achieve whatever your goal is, what can't you do in order to make it so you can achieve that goal, right? And then the other thing is what actions you need to start taking. Right? So what do you need to start doing and what do you need to stop doing in order to be able to achieve whatever it is that you're committing to be the best at? Okay? And so those are going to be the two main things. The next thing that we want to be able to you know, talk about here when we're talking about the commitment to being you know, the best version of ourselves that we can is that we want to be able to focus on what we're trying to achieve. Right? There takes, it takes a lot of focus. It takes a lot of discipline. It takes your ability to really become single-minded in what it is that you're trying to you know, go after and really put everything else off to the side. And the more you're able to do that, the more you're able to stay focused, the more you're able to stay disciplined, the better your results will be. And you know, really, as you're going through that, you wanna be able to you know, create some degree of accountability, some degree of a coach, something that's actually able to you know, help you out along those lines. And so that's why I like to, you know, the whole program, I think could be very beneficial for you guys, because now you have a, a degree of accountability. And as we've been going through it, I want to be able to create more opportunity for us to be able to talk, whether it's through Zoom, um, whether it's through, you know, text message, email, whatever, WhatsApp, whatever ends up being the best form of communication, I want to be able to build as many relationships as I can to really be able to help you guys out. I'm really, you know, enjoy the progress that I see people make when it comes to athletic development and really from a mental side, right? I think that there's so, is so much more that is gained from really focusing on, you know, the mental development that you can create through sport development and through athletic development and, and developing your body. And I think there's so many things that come out of that, right? Leadership, confidence, you know, your ability to be disciplined, your, be able, your ability to show up for yourself on, on a consistent basis, the nutrition side, right? Being able to put good foods in your body, the focus and priority that you put on to rest, right? And sleep and, and what you're putting into your mind to help you in developing over a, you know, period of time, right? It's not something that you could just build, you know, in a day, right? This is something that you have to really commit to when it comes to athletic development. You have to be able to see, you know, the goal that we're trying to get to in four weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks. And so, you know, really having the foresight to see that helps you as you go and develop further and further into life. 
And so you really want to make sure you have, you know, that, that ability to you know, accomplish something that, that or focus on what it is that you're trying to accomplish uh, and really make sure you have some degree of accountability uh, and, and a coach that can help you out with that accountability. You know, the next thing is don't settle, right? Uh, never lower the targets. Okay, so whatever your targets are, keep those targets. I've had to adjust a little bit, right? I wanted to be a, a NFL quarterback, right? When I was in your guys' age, I wanted to play at UCLA. I wanted to be an NFL quarterback. But, you know, things changed. You know, I, I still want to be the best version of me, right? Just because I didn't achieve those, you know, I made certain mistakes, I learned, I moved on, doesn't mean that I consistently try to work on being the best version of that, as I can and really being a role model for, you know, people that can see, you know, both the good and the bad, right? I want to be able to show up and, and that's why I consistently post these YouTube videos. This is why I'm constantly trying to create new programs, new opportunities to be able to get more people involved and, and really be able to help out as many, as many people as I can. I'm really committed to being, you know, the best quarterback coach that I can be, the best speed coach that I can be, you know, the best individual trainer that I could be uh, and, and really, you know, be the best at business, be the best with my relationships, be the best with speaking, be the best that I can be when it comes to, you know, writing and blogging and creating videos and, and making it so it's all consistently getting better and I'm working on it, I'm not settling, I'm not okay uh, with where it is, I'm not comfortable with where I am uh, as much as it's grown and, and there's a, a lot of great opportunities, it's like, I know I can be better, I know I, I just, barely getting started in terms of what it is that I can accomplish and what my true potential is. And so, you know, now more than ever, I, I'm like, really want to step on the gas because I know that there's so much more out there that the possibilities are endless, right? And so you want to be able to maintain that same type of mindset. Don't settle, right? Continue to think how much bigger of an impact can you make? How much more can you do? How much you know better can you optimize your day and create a day that's gonna set you up for success? And, and the more you can really focus on that, I'm telling you, the better off you're gonna be. And it really makes it so you, you can get connected to your happiness, right? At the end of the day, you know, you're the, the responsible for your happiness. And so, you know, there's nobody else that's gonna be able to make you happy. There's no situation, there's no, you know, thing that you can buy that is gonna make you happy. It's you that has to make you happy and your relationship to who you are and who you wanna be is what's important. Okay, and the last thing here, and, and if you're watching this still, I, I saved this till the end. I, I, there's a couple times even as I was talking, I like, wanted to say it, uh, but I wanted to save it to the end because I know that if you're still watching right now, you're somebody that really needs to hear this, right? Because it's super important and it's, and it's the most truthful thing about this whole entire video, which is you are enough, right? You are enough. If you give everything, if you commit to being the best, the best version of yourself, you will be able to achieve whatever it is you want, right? And that's just the, the fact of the reality, okay? Now, what we have to be able to understand, right? We watch Kobe, like I'm a big Kobe fan, right? And he had a dedication to being the best version of Kobe Bryant that he could possibly be, you know? And, and he didn't have the height or the athletic ability or anything like that um, as some of the other guys, you know, LeBron or Wilt Chamberlain or things like that. Um, but I still, you know, admire Kobe so much more because I think of all those guys, he optimized himself to be the best version of himself that he possibly can, right? And we want to be able to do the same. We want, we're not going to all be tall. We're not all going to be fast. We're not, not all going to be gifted, but we want to be able to be the best version of ourselves and, and understand that you're enough. Everything that you do, if, if you commit to, you know, truly being the best version of you that you could possibly be, the achievements that you're going to have in your life are going to be endless and the impact you're going to have on the world is going to be so huge and so great and so that's what I really really hope is that there's more you know young athletes young kids out there that really believe in them and and I really see the next generation of people just being so impactful on the world with everything that's coming on with like the metaverse and and these you, you know there's a, a huge disconnect I feel like right now with like an older generation and younger generation uh, and, and the new younger generation is going to have a big responsibility to kind of you know, utilize all these new tools to help, you know, continue the success of, you know, America, of the world, of, you know, the economy, you know, there's so many things going on right now. And I think that, that this upcoming generation is going to be so hugely beneficial to our development. Uh, and, and I think a lot of them want to be. And so, you know, it starts with 
where you're coming at from a mentality perspective and just the belief that you're enough that you can achieve what it is that you want to achieve and this is outside of sports right doesn't this doesn't even matter when it comes to sports you know i know i'm connected to a lot of people that that play sports but you know it's much bigger than that at the end of the day uh, and, and as much as you know you could be you know tom brady right as much as he's a, a great quarterback he's so much more to all of us right like the reason that we love tom brady is is yeah he, he has great mechanics and all that type of stuff, but it's also his commitment and dedication to being, you know, the best version of himself that he can be and, and being able to watch that and him showcasing it for everyone to be able to, um, you know, watch and learn from. And, and so, again, you're enough. Be the best version of yourself. You know, commit to being the best, right? Commit to being the best at what it is you're doing. And, you know, just by doing that, you're going to separate yourself from 99% of the people that you're gonna be competing against, right? And at the end of the day, you're competing against yourself. So, you know, the, mo the sooner you can get the mentality that you wanna be the best, the better results you're gonna get and the more dedication and focus and discipline that you'll have towards your targets and towards your actions and what it is that you want to achieve instead of doing things for, you know, other people. So, thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe, send it to somebody that might need this information and as always, we'll talk to you soon.